going to take a little walk and a little change in camera. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm making my way and it's not too windy today. So you, it's an advantage. So hello, hello. So I'm standing here over there. You see the ocean <clears throat> and there is a ravine and the dogs and everything. So let's stand. It, and it also it's International Women's Day today. So I was looking a little bit to do a practice, but they basically the practices they do, they just dedicate them to women. So we're just going to be um, doing our practice. And maybe, yes, the focus is on women, but I think it's more, more on um, justice for all. I think that's what's most important. So let's uh, start our feet a little bit wider than our hips. Taking a deep breath in, rolling the shoulders back. And then as you do this again, I'm always coming back to the point like tuck your tailbone just a little bit under to avoid that curving, pushing everything. So lifting the chest bone, rolling the shoulders back. So very gentle little movement with your shoulders more to place them in the back than to get the whole rotation in the shoulder. So sorry if I'm, I have my eyes closed, but it's quite bright outside. And then start to add your arms to it. So very gently adding the arms. And you can start to make circles with your arms. So first you can bring them just to the side Let me just go check one thing. <clears throat> Sorry, continue making circles. So the arms are becoming higher and higher. And feel with your breath, inhaling, you can start to bend the knees slightly as you bring the arms down. Inhaling up, exhaling three more times. Just really enjoy this big, very natural stretch in our body. And then as we finish, let's bring the arms up overhead, press the heels down, press the feet down, tuck your tailbone, reach the fingers up. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Inhale, reach up and then interlace your hands, turn the palms up and push even higher, but push even lower with your feet. Feel the stretch from your hands till your feet. Inhale, exhale. And then from here, let's gently move to the side. So we're going to go back and forward, inhaling to the center exhaling to the other side. If you need to change the grasp of your hands, go and do so. So just very gently with your breath, coming back up and exhaling down. This time inhaling again up. And as you exhale, bend the knees and turn to the right. So again, that moving there's a slight wind here. I hope it doesn't disturb the mic, but we wanna just move with our breath today. Focusing on that, inhaling, exhaling. And then exhaling and then coming back to center and then bring the arms to the side. So now we're gonna Fingers can slightly the knee. So roll this back. Lift it. Forward, roll it back. You and 
and start to round your spine. Your fingers can come on the inside of your thigh, or the outside. So rounding chin to chest. And then again, inhaling for your cow. And exhaling the cat. One more time, each side, inhaling. So your fingers are very light on your legs so that you can move with the spine. And then inhale, neutral spine. Bend a little bit more, reach your arms forward. Interlace the hands, turn the palms forward. And this time, press your palms away and round the spine even more. See if you can bring the weight onto your heels. The knees are moving a little bit more back as the hips are moving back. We're still trying to find as, sorry, as long a spine as possible. So we're not rounding here. We, with our arms, we're really stretching forward. Bring the hips back. So I'm standing at the back of the mat to, so that you can see my arms as I'm uh, in the back. So let's all start at the end of our mat, place our hands on to the hips and then take a step forward with the, right, uh, with the left foot. It doesn't really matter which foot you start. H hands on the hips. So we're gonna really keep the hands on the bony part today. <clears throat> Press your back heel into the floor. My back foot is slightly turned out for balance and my front foot is a little bit wider. So my basically my feet are as wide as my hips for stability. So press into that back leg and then press more the bottom mount of your big toe into the floor. <clears throat> Keep So with your hands, make sure your hips are parallel with the front of the mat. And now bring the hands in the back, interlace your fingers, roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades together, and then lengthen your arm if accessible. So pay attention to your hips that they don't move to the side. We wanna keep them nice and well in the front. Open your chest. So first we're gonna go slightly back. So the chest is lifting up towards the sky and I can say sky today. And then from your hip crease, as if you're leading with your nose, you wanna lead and reach the front. I'm pressing my back foot into the floor, my front foot, my legs are straight. Maybe your kneecaps are even lifted. So you can keep your gaze slightly up, pull your arms back, keep your shoulders back. No need to go too far. You just wanna feel that opening in the back legs. Inhale, exhale, and then release the hands. Stay where you are, bring your arms forward. And now you have to pay attention that you're gonna really work with your abdominals and not so much with your lower back. So you wanna really activate in the legs, lift yourself up and come back. So if you felt that you pulled onto the lower back, Maybe you want to go back, back, maybe not so deep, but just feel what you can do with your core. And then bring the left foot back. Inhale, exhale, bring the right foot forward. So hips, uh, feet as wide as the hips, the back foot slightly turned out, front foot pointing forward, hands onto the hips, and then press the outside of the back foot into the floor. Press the bottom mount of your big toe of the front foot into the floor. Adjust your hips, roll the shoulders back, elbows back. Interlace your hands. You can change the, how you interlace your hands if you wanted to. Roll back, open the chest, look up. And then as you exhale, start to reach with your nose towards the front, strong legs. So really press those feet into the floor. You don't wanna come into a balance on your front leg. You wanna have equal support in both legs. So reaching forward, lengthen your arms, open your chest and breathe. 
feel how the breath is sending waves in your body. Maybe it's not storm, hopefully, otherwise you might fall. Adjust your hips if you notice they change and then bring your arms forward. If this is too much for you, keep your arms to the side. But I just wanna really focus on that activation in the core here and in the legs rather than in the lower back. And then inhale, coming all the way up. Lots of work in the back leg. And then exhale, return. <clears throat> so again, we're gonna stand somewhere on our mat. It doesn't really matter where. <clears throat> Come into your mountain pose. Take a breath in and see if there is as much work to do in your shoulders as there was in the beginning. Probably not. We've been working on opening the chest again today. Take a breath in, beautiful mountain pose, and then exhale, bring the chin to the chest. So stay there for a moment. Bring your hands behind your head where the skull and the cervical spine touch. Interlace your hands. Open your elbows to start so that you can roll the shoulders back, elbows back. And then exhale, start to push the skin of your, the skin of your skull, the skin of your skull, the skin of your skull forward as you close your elbows and you bring the chin to the chest. You don't want to round in the spine. So you really want to keep the shoulders as much as possible in position to get that big stretch in the trapezius muscles. Inhale, exhale. And then inhale, coming back. Keep your hands where they are. You can separate your feet a little bit if you need a bit more stability. And then inhale, lengthen from your heels, still bone down, lift your chest up a little bit, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, go to the right. This time, elbows, elbows stay in line. So you twist, it's gonna bring you a little bit. Stay here for two more. And then inhale, and as you exhale, come back to center and continue to the other side. So open the elbows. So the focus is as much on the elbows as it's on the feet that they stay in position. The hips hopefully also stay in position. Inhale and exhale. And then slowly coming back and release and maybe you wanna shake out your head, shake out your neck a little bit. So from here, let's bring the hands onto the hips, come to the back of your mat so that we all work from the same point. And we're gonna take this time a big step forward with our right foot. So I'm, I'm on my left toes and I'm gonna start to bend my front knee. Press your back heel back, lengthen that back leg. So, if this is too much for you, you can come onto your knee, but we're gonna really start to open the groin in this way today, instead of going down and letting gravity play. So here we're gonna work a little bit more. Inhale and exhale, come a little bit deeper maybe. You can bring your hands to your thigh or you can keep your hands on your hips. Inhale, open the chest, come maybe a little bit deeper, press that back, heel back. Lift the left kneecap. And then press into your front foot, lengthen your leg. And then we're gonna bring the toes towards the long side of our mat. So we're quite wide with our legs, toes slightly in, roll the shoulders back, elbows back, and then from your hip crease, start to move forward. So you wanna, See if you can keep the tailbone pointing down here instead of suddenly starting to arch, especially if you're very flexible in the hamstrings. This is something that automatically happens. So from here, bring your hands down wherever they are. So if your hands are dangling, that's fine. You can grab the opposite elbows. Relax your upper body, relax your head. Inhale, exhale. 
And then take your hands and place them somewhere on your legs. Your legs are straight, so depend, maybe your hands are on your thighs. Don't put them behind your knees, so go then a little bit higher, or maybe they're on your ankles. And then from here, see if you can lengthen the upper body. So roll the shoulders back and away from your ears. Inhale and exhale. And then let go of your hands and let's walk again to the right. So right foot to the front, left foot to the back. Same as we were before, it's not a mistake. Place your hands down and now we're gonna play a little bit of fun. So hands are down and we're gonna shift legs. So we're gonna hop the left foot forward and the right foot back. Let's see, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and then come back up. So to start, come up. Have your leg, your front leg more or less straight. Press, come onto your back toes and press the heel away. So you really wanna establish that strength into the back leg first. And then start to bend into your front leg, into the uh, left leg. Press the back heel back and come a little deeper. Inhale, exhale. So the front thigh, uh, the front knee is above the front heel, pressing the back heel back, opening the right side of our groin area. And then slowly press into your back toes, lengthen the front leg and hop your right foot forward. We're gonna do a balance. So there's a little bit of wind, so maybe I have an excuse. Um, so I want to do um, a little bit more difficult balance, but um, so if you need the wall, just use the wall. So by the way, the houses here are made of lava stone. Um, this one is from the 50s, so just intermezzo. Um, so there are different options. So I'll show first um, the one that's probably accessible to you, but if you want to try it out, if it doesn't work, just go do three posts, but you can always use the wall to see where am I today with this balance pose because there is a stretch in it as well. So stand in your mountain pose, roll the shoulders back. And what we want in balancing is really that strong body. Bring the weight onto your left leg and then lift your right knee up. So option one is just to keep your right hand onto your right knee and then open up to the side. So the knee at the height of the hip, don't go too high, otherwise you create a twist and a rounding in the lower back. So that's option one. Option two is lift the knee and then with your right hand, right arm, you go inside your leg and you grab your big toe with um, your peace fingers. And then you start to extend. So you can keep the leg bent, that's okay. If you can roll the shoulders back, the, sh the right shoulder back. If you're okay with your flexibility, then you can stretch out your leg and open up to the side. So let's see, you can come down. If you followed me, I should have said that I was gonna show it first. <clears throat> so come into your mountain pose, take a few breaths. If you're leaning against the wall, just put the fingertips so that if you wanna get off, it's not a sudden push away from the wall. So lift your right knee up, grab your big toe or your knee, keep your left hand on your uh, hips for the moment and then stretch out your leg. There's a, a slight bend into my left leg when I bring the leg up, it's just for a, to have a little bit more stability. And then if you can see if you can open to the side. Focus on a point that doesn't move. And then coming back to the center, bending the knee and coming down. So let's do the other side. Hands onto the hips. Lift the left knee, option one, left hand on your left knee. Option two, grab your big toe. Option three, stretch it out in any way 
any length that's possible. So find your stability before you start to open to the side. So we're opening in the hips here. We're not creating a rotation in the spine or in the hips. Lift your chest. Focus on a point that doesn't move. And then coming back to center and release. So we're gonna add a little bit to this, but without the peace fingers, we're just gonna work with the hand on the knee and on the thigh. <clears throat> Coming into mountain pose. Inhale and exhale. And then lift the right thigh. Bring your right hand onto your right knee. And we're just gonna open slightly, inhale, and then coming back, so just to test the stability. Now we're gonna bring both hands on the hips. This time left hand comes on the outside of the right thigh. And I'm gonna start to close my hips. So I'm still doing a balancing here. My core is active, my chest is lifted, my right foot is flexed and lifting up. Press into that supporting leg. And then coming back to center, both hands on the hips, stretch out your leg to the front, push the heel away, and then bring the foot down. Other side, so take your time to find your um, mountain pose. Inhale and exhale. Lift your left knee. Left hand on the left knee, and then just open up as you inhale. Exhale, close. Hands onto the hips, right hand on the outside of the, of the left thigh, strong supporting leg, and then close off. Feel how you can find your mountain pose again. You can really pull onto your left thigh if you want to. Flex your left foot, otherwise it's just hanging there as a weight and you're gonna have to hold your leg way too much. Maybe you can pull that thigh a bit closer and then coming back to center, hands onto the hips, extend your leg and then bring it all the way down and shake it out. So again, coming to the back of, of the mat, take a breath in and a breath out. We're gonna inhale, reach the arms up and we're gonna do a forward fold. So fold from your hip crease. Bend your knees in time. And then start to walk your hands to the front. Keep the heels onto the floor. So don't worry too much about your spine for the moment. But we're gonna press, put the hands fully on the floor like half. And then press heels down and, to your, and then walk a little bit further the same but it's not, and then coming all the way in position for your downward dog. separate this time lifting the head up Finding that breath in your spine, pressing from your hands all the way up to the hips, pressing the shoulders up. Lighten your right leg up, still down. Exhale. Full expression of the pose, lifting your hips, healing coming down. Bring it behind your right wrist. So if pigeon is not okay for your knee, 
go onto your back and bring the knee in with your hands. So roll the shoulder back. Walk your hands a little bit closer. We're first going to stretch the left quadriceps. So you see if you can re bend your left knee and reach your foot, either hand. It doesn't matter which hand. Eventually, we'll, we'll grab it with two hands. But for that, you need a lot of uh, strength in your uh, pelvic area. So for now, we're just going to stretch the quadriceps. So I'm on my right hand in the front, pretty close to my right knee. I'm trying to lift my chest up and then bring my left foot closer to my body. So see if you can lift your pubic up, your pelvic floor up a little bit. So don't, we're not sinking into our body here. There's quite a lot of work happening. Inhale, exhale, and then slowly release the left leg. Make it long again. So this time you should really feel that difference. Now I'm really sinking down to the floor. Lengthen your back leg. Inhale, open the front of your chest. Make space so that you can really roll out your whole body to the front. Make a pillow with your hands or stretch out your arms to the front. Place your forehead or on the floor or on your forearms and release, relax, let it go. Inhaling and exhaling. I hope you hear you hear the birds maybe now that I'm not speaking. Two more breaths here. And then walk your hands back under your shoulders, tuck your back toe and come into your downward dog. Walk your dog, dance your dog. It it's more to stretch out the hip, at the knee. Knees and come back into the full downward dog. So that sometimes just skip over it, and it's a wonderful. It has so many benefits. So then to your left and bring the knee behind your left wrist. So the knees behind your left wrist but it can also be out, a little bit out. So my, because my hands are as wide as my shoulders and if your hips allow it, then you can definitely place the left knee a little bit more out. So we're gonna bend the right knee and then grab your right foot, your pants. And I forgot to say, if you can't grab, just hold your leg up and see if you can bring the heel closer. It will not be as much of a stretch because you're working the hamstrings. You're actually strengthening the hamstrings as you, if you don't use your hands, which is not a bad thing. So, and again, see if you can lift your pelvic floor off a little bit. So from the, <clears throat> from the center, you really want to lift up your whole body. Inhale and exhale. And then release the leg back. Come onto your fingertips, but this time inhale. And then as you exhale, let the body sink to the floor. Open your chest, open your front, and then walk your hands forward or make a pillow with your hands and release. So you'll hear some noise now. I don't know who is driving by, but because it's a dead end street, but inhale, exhaling. Let's stay here for three more breaths. Releasing, relaxing, enjoying. Mm. 
And then after your three breaths, coming back into your downward dog, just this time to really relax your knee, relax your hips. And now come to your knees and sit on your heels. So you know the adjustments you need to do if your knees are not happy. Place your hands at the front and separate your feet so that your feet are actually coming out of your hips. So, so now this you have to be careful for, especially if you have sensitive knees, because we want to be able to sit on the floor or on something. So you can definitely put a block, two blocks, um, pillows, whatever you need to sit higher. But you want to have the feet outside of your hips. If that is not okay for your knees, you keep the feet, the feet under your bum. So here, depending how it feels. So if, it's, if you're afraid that you're gonna hurt yourself, you're gonna create tension, which is not what we want. We wanna be able to sit here. This is hero pose. And how do you say hero in feminine? In uh, French, it's heroine. So a little bit of <laughs> women's day. But as I said in the beginning, the most important is justice for all, everybody. Roll the shoulders back. Hands are on my thighs for now. And then bring the hands in the back. My fingers are pointing back. I'm rolling my shoulders back and I'm starting to open my chest, but just to so that my shoulder blades can come together. So I don't want to force it. And I'm starting to lean back. Can you lean back? If it's not okay for you, please come back up, stretch out your legs and do the same thing. It's not the same effect. We are stretching in the quads here. We're going to stretch the groin but it's okay. So if you are lying, if you bring the legs to the front, lay down on your back and do half bridge, meaning bending the knee feet um, as wide as your hips and lifting the hips up. So the feet are on the floor, of course, if you do that. Otherwise, if you're still in hero pose, walk your hands back. Maybe at a certain moment, you can come onto your forearms. You can place your hands onto your feet. <clears throat> and ideally, we're gonna feel the opening in the quads, but also in the groin area. So your knees remain on the floor. So if you can, you can go even deeper, be lying on the floor, maybe overhead. If you need to get out, get out and lay on your back. And then to come up, press into your elbows. You don't want to wiggle yourself up. You want to come up equally. Coming up, placing the hands in the front, lengthening out the legs, maybe come into a plank just to stretch out your legs. And then I'm going to join you on the back. So on the back, we are gonna do half bridge again. So if you're ready, explore a little bit more. So the feet are as wide as the hips, knees are up. <clears throat> and I'm gonna bring my arms, my body, the your breath in. And start to you feet lift your hip a lot as groin so
up and the palms facing up to the sky. Close up table and knees over towards the left. So you can keep your hands on the floor. <clears throat> Maybe your knees are not both of them on the floor. Is the other knee, the other not, the other not on the top of the other one? Okay. Right. right. So I'm creating a banana. Go to a bend in the back. Rotation is happening. May belly shoulders are on the floor, and then bring the arms back in. As you bring your As your and exhale, bring the hands in. Get your arms again. So without Fill up come side to the mouth. Empty, 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 empty. Let's do this one more. 
taking an extra sip at it. And then letting go. Arms, make a fist with your hands. In, reach your arms up and overhead. That knees, chest. into a comfortable seated position. Taking a deep breath in, a long breath out. Bring your hands in front of your heart in any way that works for you today. Lengthen your spine, tuck your chin gently. Thank you all for being on this path of daily yoga with me. I hope you realize how much it's bringing to me as well as I hope it's bringing to you. I want to wish you all a wonderful day. I wish I could blow over the heat and the sun over to you, but rest assured that my love for you should heat you up as much. Thank you all very much, and I wish you a wonderful day. Namaste. And let's all try to have as much, as much justice around us, within us, as we can. It starts with us. Thank you. Now, hold on. I'm moving to a screen so I can see you. There we go. Thank you so much. I miss you. Did you hear me okay? Mm. No? Ah. We weren't sure if it was our internet connection or, or yours. The video worked great. Okay. But the audio um, was clippy. It was like you were right on the edge of the range of the microphone. Okay, yeah. thank you. Ah, uh -uh. that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll I'll test it out myself. I did some tests this morning, but maybe the the mic has moved from the inside. So yeah, you're Sorry just for that. 